Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 13.4 Beta 2 which was released earlier today by Apple. After two weeks of releasing Beta 1 of iOS 13.4, Apple has brought a new beta following that first beta which had a ton of new features. This one doesn't seem to have a lot but of course it will have all the improvements and the bug fixes in the background. So let's take a look at what's new on iOS 13.4 beta 2. Until now the only like visible change that I could found on iOS 13.4 beta 2 is on the toolbar of the mail app. You know that with beta 1 Apple has basically like recreated this bar here adding new features and now it has changed the flag icon which used to be right here in the bottom right corner now it has replaced that with a compose button which of course will start composing a new email so instead of the flag now you will have this one right here otherwise you won't actually see like any new big changes on beta 2 of iOS 13.4 of course everything should be, be smoother in the background hopefully we'll get improvement on battery as well even though it's not that bad at all now taking a look at the Geekbench here so I did a test of iOS 13.4 beta 1 and beta 2 and here on the history we have both of them so you can see this is beta 1 1333 on the single core 3419 on the multi-core score right here with beta 1 and we have here a slight improvement so we have 3 1335 here on the single core and you can see on the multi-core score right there is quite a lot of improvement so we have 419 3419 and we have 3000 471 here with beta 2 so a slight improvement on the performance which of course is always always very welcome so basically that's it guys that's what's new with ios 13.4 beta 2 i know most of the stuff are in the background after seeing a beta 1 with all those new features i expected apple to add maybe like 10 or 15 new features to beta 2 but it looks like they have added all of them on beta 1 already and you will not see that many changes even though this software will probably go through four or five maybe even six betas before it gets released to the public which i believe should be by the end of the march if apple is holding an event that time that should be the time that they will release this software to the public as well so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one